everybody, welcome once again to ApostolicSundaySchool.com. Today is your daily devotion for the quarantine, and this is day 52. That's a lot of days. That's like a five and a two together. That's like seven, and if you're seven years old, you're really old. That's a lot of days, a lot of numbers. Man, pff, numbers make my head hurt. Ugh. Anyway, we've been having a great time with you guys, really. I mean, I've, I've spent every day for the last 52 days with you guys by proxy. Some of it is through you guys sending us object lessons. And right now, I have another one for you. This one is from a young man all the way across the United States from Little Rock, Arkansas. His name is David Welsh. Everybody, let's give David a hand. David, take it away. Hello, my name is David, and my object lesson will be about serving the right master. If you serve the devil, then nothing happens and your things don't work out. At first, it starts fizzing up, but then it's just cool. It's just cool for a once for one season. But if you serve God, you're overflowing. And as it says in Matthew six twenty four, no man can serve two masters, for he for he will either hate one and love the other, or he will hold to one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Thank you for watching this object lesson. Great job, David. You guys are really, really doing a fabulous job. And if you have yet to send in an object lesson, or maybe you've already sent one, you would like to send another one, feel free to send it. Go ahead and just uh, take a quick video of it and post it on YouTube and send me the link to info at apostolicsundayschool.com. If you don't want anybody else to see it until then, you can make it unlisted. Don't make it private, make it unlisted. And send me the link and I will be able to get to it. All right, guys, right now it's time for the joke of the day. And now it's time for your joke of the day. I'm only familiar with 25 letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. <laughs> 25 letters of the I don't know why. <clears throat> None of these jokes make sense. I get so mad. Why do they do this to me? Anyway, we were talking about the scavenger hunt yesterday. Yep, the new one. The new scavenger hunt. The one I told you, and uh, I gave you a clue. I said it's something really, really big. Really big. Hmm. That wasn't much of a clue. So today, I'm going to give you another clue. Are you ready? Clue number two is it is not inside your house. It is not inside your house. That's the only clue you got. It's really big, and it's not inside your house. That's it. We're going to do an object lesson today for you. And this one is about how the Holy Ghost can allow us to get close to God in a way that's just impossible otherwise after sin messed everything up. Yep, when sin was introduced to our world, it causes separation between man and God. And today, this is God. And today, this is us. See the difference? I like God better. <clears throat> when man sinned, it caused a divide between man and God. Before that happened, God and man were so close. In fact, in the book of Genesis, it talks about how man and God walked in the cool of the eve in the garden, and they talked face to face, just like one person would talk to another. They talked to each other. And God made man to live forever. He had man name creation one animal at a time. He trusted man that much to name the creation that he had made. That's pretty cool. There was nothing between God and man. And then came sin. Oh no! Can you guys say no? Yes, say no. Anyway, Satan himself came and convinced man that man could be as smart as God if he just took a piece of fruit. But not any fruit. It was fruit from the tree. The tree that God said, do not eat this fruit. But man did anyway. And when man disobeyed God, sin was unleashed upon the earth. You know, I'm going to put this in here. So there's God. And here's man. And they're mixing so beautifully, aren't they? And God wanted us to be close. And that's how he meant it to be. That's how he planned it to be. And then sin came and caused a separation. As you can see from this vase here, 
Sin has a way of separating man from God because God will never be okay with sin. God will not mix with sin. God will not live in the same vessel that sin does. But God, in His wisdom, found a way that we could once, be, once again be united. He found a way that man and God could become close again. Do you guys know what that is? I bet you do. You see, God Himself came and gave His life for us so we could be together again. He gave us a plan. The plan of salvation. Repent of your sins. We talked about that. Say, God, I'm sorry, and He's going to forgive you. The Bible says that Jesus died for us, and just like He died, we need to die to our sins. We're going to copy what he did. He died for us, and we're going to die to our sins. That's called repentance. He was also buried. And the Bible says that the like figure, or the mirror image, or the same thing as Jesus being buried, is us being buried in baptism. He was buried in a tomb, and we're buried in the waters of baptism in Jesus' name. But that's not the end of it. He also rose again. And even like he rose again, we also can rise again. And we can walk in newness of life, which is the Holy Ghost. Jesus can come and live inside of us. Inside of you. Inside of me, like we talked about yesterday. And we can be reunited all over again. Now look at this. Man and God are completely separated. Man and God are completely separated. But when God gives us the Holy Ghost, something cool starts to happen. Just keep your eye. Keep watching. When you get the Holy Ghost inside of you, when God begins to fill you, and you begin to speak in a language that you had never heard before, some pretty cool stuff happens. Now, you're a part of that plan of man being reunited again with God. If we keep loving Him, if we keep living for Him until the very end, we're going to go walk with Him. We're going to be with Him in heaven. We're going to be with Him in heaven. Can you see that? How cool is that? Now it's mixing man and God are being reunited. That is such a cool reaction. I don't know about you, but I want the Holy Ghost. I want to connect again with God just the way this is. I don't want sin to separate me. And you don't have to either. You can get the gift of the Holy Ghost. You can repent of your sins, be baptized in Jesus' name. And you can be united again with God the way He intended. Isn't that awesome? Guys, thank you for letting me spend another day with you. Till next time, until tomorrow at 3 o'clock, we'll see you guys later. Bye!